Hi everyone. This is going to be my uh, sixth number sh number six show and tell of org transclusion. Transclusion is the ability to include content from one file into another by reference. And org transclusion uses the uh, standard org mode links to do that. Let me quickly show it to you as a recap. So I have a, a normal org mode link here, and it is linking to this subtree via headline. Yeah? And what I want to do is to sort of include a copy of this subtree onto the left hand side. To do that, I just add transclude keyword and value of t. And you can control whether you want to do it or not by this t nil uh, value. And if I then invoke invoke uh, org transclusion minor mode, un, the content of here gets uh, copied over to the left hand side. And the copy is a uh, read only. And then if I wanted to change the copy, I need to go back to the source and change the source and save, go back, and the copy will reflect the change to the source. So that's how it works uh, in org transclusion. Do I need to activate this? All right. And this is my uh, number version 0 .0 0.0.6, and I have got five updates to tell you. So let me walk you through them one by one. Number one, uh, you can now control the headline or headline level for the transclusion. So um, in the previous demo, I didn't specify this. This is a new uh, property onto the uh, transclude keyword. So let me just open this link, and this one is linking to uh, h1 so as you can see let me just uh, also deactivate this or uh, all the superstar mode so you can see this the the um, source is uh, level one and it includes h1.1 so this is the subtree um, as you can see level one level two but if i then specify this as level eight and then invoke uh, transclusion as you can see uh, the um, transcluded copy has got eight stars so that's how it works uh, you can now control the level via this um, property in transcluded keyword and there's more to it um, if you want to then kind of adjust this and uh, while you are looking at the transcluded copy you can do so by uh, meta meta key plus left and right or you can also use shift meta left and right it's it, for org transclusion it does exactly the same thing because in, in my case um, i wanted to treat the whole transcluded region as one unit right so now let me just show it to you i'm, I'm doing out sh out without shift so out left and then that sort of demotes the entire tree i can also uh, promote it uh, sorry, demote, promote, probably was, uh, it was not the correct one. So I'm promoting it. Yeah, so that's number two. And then uh, headline level becomes number two. So um, org transclusion will remember your adjustment uh, by putting the number into this property. Uh, at the moment, it will allow only from one to nine. I, I believe this is sufficient. So that's uh, update number one. And just to, as a, another sort of um, uh, side note, I just showed it to you uh, with the link to a headline, so it's single subtree, but this works for the uh, all of the um, file as well. So in this case, it will in it includes two subtrees, actually three, doesn't it? Yeah, so three, but the same thing, Alt, right to demote, but as you can see, the entire uh, transcluded region is treated as one unit, so all of the three subtrees will be promoted um, and also demoted as you do meta shift sorry meta left and right uh, shift meta it does exactly the same thing i'm doing that right now and then it will remember your adjustment uh, with this property so that's uh, update number one number two uh, you can also use uh, meta up and down or shift meta up and down right let me show it to you um, with the meta up and down first so i have two um transclusions yeah uh, so this let me just uh remove this highlight mode so transclusion number one headline level two 
conclusion number two, headline two, and there's here. Uh, there's th this guy is just Bertrand Russell. This this is this is um, not a transcluded uh, copy, but I directly edited onto this chart onto the buffer, right? But what you can do with meta up and down is if I have my point on top of the heading, the t root heading, I can do meta wrap down to move the all of the region across the other uh, headlines. So, and it, it works as uh, also uh, across the normal um, headline as well. So if I wanted to do this, it will, oh, sorry, didn't do it. I need to be here. Um, yeah, so, you know, it works across the normal um, headline as well as um, so across uh, or between transcluded headlines like this right so yeah it might look a little bit finicky at the time and I have to admit that might be true so I'm gonna probably that's because I, I yeah, at the moment you cannot move uh, headlines when these are um, uh, folded I just yeah so that that's how it works at the moment and it's a little bit finicky maybe but um yeah so that's the first step and I'm, uh, I'm working on it May maybe I need to actually look at it a little bit better but that's um, um, trans sorry the meta up and down uh, to move headlines up and down okay and also there's similar one it's called it's a shift meta up and down so this shift meta up and down works on the non headline elements such as paragraph uh, or a table or a quote these 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 are not headlines but i wanted to kind of move these around in this case i would use shift meta up and down and as you can see you can move these around yeah so this is uh up and down meta up and down shift meta up and down uh, update number two that was update number two so update number three is uh, option to transclude the first section with the filter so this file uh, okay let me just remove the heading yeah so everything is you know uh, is before the headline or the first headline this is called uh, first section and in the standard sorry the um, in by default uh, all transclusion doesn't um, transclude the content in the first section if I invoke this it doesn't do anything right but there's a customizing variable uh, all transclusion include first section if you change that to T you can transclude the first section right and also um, I think you would like to remove the metadata meta file metadata uh, this one is achieved by keyword so you can add the keyword to the exclude elements um, um, customizing variable to achieve that so just demonstrate how it works Whoop. and I've done it and then toggle this so you can exclude the uh, file metadata it's a keyword or keywords if you have multiple and then you can also work with um, files that do not have headlines or uh, it doesn't matter if you have got a headline here you can have it yeah and then work with headline as well as the first section so that's uh, update number three sorry right so move on what am I doing? okay so And number four is a better default theme. And um, I have finally had a chance to go back to uh, the um, update or a device that Prot gave me. So um, thank you, Prot. And if I do include, transclude this, right. As you can see, um, let me open this. Right, it's the table, it's there. Right, so I have changed the default um, theme colors or theme faces and this also works if I 
change that to um, dark theme. Dark theme has got a uh, sort of visible, uh, readable, legible faces as a default. So this is um, update number four. And my last update is ID. So uh, there has been some problems with working with an org ID and I believe I have fixed it. I, ha I had to refactor the way uh, links and also IDs are linked essentially. And then uh, what um, I have done is, for instance, this one is additional sort of robustness to the fail handling, failure handling. So if I open it, this is totally empty, but uh, there's no problem <coughs> having empty file. Or uh, if this one actually doesn't have ID, as you can see in the um, echo down the bottom, right? This ID is not recognized, and but if you try to transcode it, no problem. Uh, basically, there will be an error message in the echo, um, and then you can see that, that this didn't work. And obviously, um, if there's an existing ID, if the ID works, it will transcode it properly. And I've tested it with um, when you have orgrom activated. So orgrom has its own way of dealing with an, an org ID and nothing wrong with it. It's a uh, org ID also allows for custom functions to deal with IDs. So orgrom just uses the standard facility and there's and um, to store the ID in the database instead of the file. And there's, there's no problem. But um, um, so this way, I think uh, any way of standard extension to org ID also should work with um, transclusion. It's not just about our roam, but um, I believe this is the bait. This is the th this will solve a lot of um, ID issues you might have had. Okay, so that's uh, number five, and thank you very much. I think I think this is going to be my last update video within this year. Um, so if um, and if you are living in a region where you celebrate Christmas and in, in this sort of season, um, have a very uh, great uh, holiday season and also see you in the new year probably I will be quiet until April 2021 but um, I will definitely come back to all transclusion and trying to fix issues and also um, add more functions to it so until then April next year uh, have a great um, holiday season new year and also the time okay and talk to you later bye